Shoe Tube. Shoe Tube. What's up, man? It's Jamin. And today, we got a shoe that I treated myself to, man. I told you guys I was going, in one of my older videos, I told you guys I was going to cop a pair. I sold a couple of pairs of Yeezys to get uh, rid of some stuff. You know, sometimes you got some shoes that might be sitting around, you, they still dead stock, and you know you probably ain't going to wear them because you're wearing other shoes, and you just can't wear five pairs of shoes at one time. You can only wear one pair. So you do a little spring cleaning, and that's what I did. But I did go out and cop a pair that I said I wanted. Uh, so we're going to get into unboxing those today, and I'm going to do a little comparison on another shoe that I got that looks similar to these guys and give you a little bit of history on them as well. I've seen other videos and stuff like that, and they're all great. Don't get me wrong, especially with my homeboys that do the videos. Y'all know who y'all are. Uh, but I want to give y'all a little bit of history on the actual shoe. I did some discovery work, if you will, just to bring y'all a little bit of insights. But look, hey, man, check out my video on these guys right here if you haven't already. This is the Polaroid Dunk. As y'all can see, they got a white midsole, but they get a little scuffed up pretty easy. I don't know if y'all catching that on there. And the toe box right there has got a little scuffing action going on. I've been wearing these guys, man. Look, the head turners. So I just did a video on them like two days ago or something like that. If you want to check it out, go on my video archives, click videos, and just go to my last video that I did. You can check that video out. Um, one more thing for all the new subs and my, all my day one folks, man. I appreciate the support. We're getting close to 500 subs, man, which is a big, big deal for me at least. And so I appreciate you guys very much. Thank y'all for the support. And now let's head over to the OT, hashtag operating table, and unbox these shoes. Y'all follow me. All right, guys, so here we are. We are at the operating table. As you can see, I mean, you're going to see it in the thumbnail anyway, so you're going to know what shoe I'm talking about. But these over here, I did hit from concepts, from the actual store concepts, and uh, received these probably about three weeks ago or so. I am going to get rid of these. These are an eight and a half, but I just haven't, you know, I, I put them on trade block. I'm looking for a specific pair of shoes for these guys. So... I may even do them in my size again, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's compare the shoes real quick. Let's get into the unboxing. Hey, you know, a minute ago I was talking about uh, I was talking about the 500 subs or whatever, getting the 500 for you guys that are new to the channel and may not know yet. For every 100 subs that the channel gets, I do an entry for 24 hours into the 1,000 sub giveaway. Once we hit 1,000 subs, I will be giving away a pair of Jordan One Highs retros or $170 to your cash app. So if that sounds like something that's interesting to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. With that being said, opening up this box right here, ba bam There we go. Well, that was a premature ba-bam. Y'all know I like my ba-bams. Look, man, StockX, y'all do a great job at right. I'm just going to, you know, I have my forms, my quarrels with StockX, whatever you want to call it. But they do a good job with their shipping, man. They make sure that your box and your shoes are protected. They put all this bubble wrap in here. So shout out to those guys for at least making sure that their shipping is on point. Even if they do turn down a dead, dead stock pair of shoes saying they've been worn before when they really haven't. Um, gosh, trying to get this guy out, y'all on. Also, I'm a one take Jake, meaning I don't edit my videos too much unless I'm showing my address or something like that. So, uh, you know, you're gonna get what you're gonna get. <laughs> it's just me. Oh. And one more thing, the Polaroids, man, before I open this box, the Polaroid dunks that I was showing you guys earlier. You know how I matched them up with my Deftone shirt? You guys know I'm a big corn, Deftones, Chevelle, Papa Roach. You, you, you know my kind of music uh, if you've been watching the channel for a minute. But, man, I got I got me some Deftone tickets, man, to wear my Polaroid dunks and my Deftones t-shirt, too. They're coming to Atlanta, Georgia on May 6th, and I will be at that concert, guys. So watch the video from me going live. Uh, not at the concert because I think that's illegal to do and I'm not going to do that because I don't want to get copyrighted, but all the fun that's going to occur around it. Anyway, let's get into this shoe right here. You do see it as a Nike. Uh, beautiful box, man. This is a beautiful box. Now, that is the special limited edition box right there, but this is the normal box that the shoes come in. Uh, I'm going to tell you what these symbols right here mean in just a moment. I don't know if, if anybody's really talked about these before, but these are on each shoe. You got your Concepts logo here. On your side, you got your flower swoosh. On your back, you have Concepts. And then for my tag gang, these are for the feet. This is the ne Nike Air Max, I said the Nike. <laughs> the Nike Air Max 1 SP. Colorway is oil green, multicolor, and cell. Size 11 and a half for the toe. All right, let's open these guys up and take a look. Drum roll, please. That sound that, that kind of sounded like a drum roll, right? Three, two, one. 
Whoa, don't want StockX to show my address off. Hopefully that didn't do that or I'll edit it out. I'll have to go back and watch. But anyway, here it is. You got your paper right here, concepts, your flower print swoosh, okay? And in three and two and one. Yep, let's try that again. And three and two and one. Ba bam, there it is guys, the Nike Air Max One Concepts Collab. These are the mellows. These are the mellows, okay? Man, I'm, I love this shoe. I know it's a lot going on, y'all. I know it's a lot going on, but I love this shoe. Y'all hang on, let me take them out of the box. Let's get a closer look and compare them to the far outs that I got. Like I was saying earlier, to me, man, this is an awesome shoe. This is an awesome collaboration. For you guys that may be wondering that haven't seen one of the gazillion, bazillion videos out there on YouTube, what does this shoe represent? It represents Woodstock, okay? Um, it represents the Woodstock uh, concert that happened out in the cow pasture out in the late 60s. Uh, you know, big time in music, big time in American history, Americana. You know, you had the peace, love, and drugs, to be honest with you, <laughs> movement going on. Uh, but this shoe is made to represent that. And actually, there's three shoes. So this shoe here is the Mellow. This is the far out, this one's the third. The one that I'm missing is the in-between shoe that dropped, which is called the Heavy. So if you guys wanna go check that out, just type in YouTube, Air Max One Concepts Heavy, and you can see what those look like. Essentially, they're similar to this one. Um, they, they do have a white, more of a whitewash denim um, than these guys do. And then the big difference is that you have military camo print right here. Well, this is just a military green. And I'll tell y'all about what that represents in a minute. You've got your bandana print on this one. The heavies have the ca have the camo, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at this guy because this is the review on the Mellows. You do have a just a brown, dark brown outsole right here, Air Max One outsole. Your midsole, you have the speckled paint. The speckled paint, guys, and it's even on the air, the air, air unit right there. You guys can pick that up in the lighting. Uh, the speckled paint is made to reminisce of the mud because it did rain at Woodstock and you had the mud people. Go out and check out pictures of the mud people from Woodstock and you'll see what I'm talking about. And then one, one big thing before we get into the upper that I want to call out, I was talking about it on the box. You guys see these symbols right here, right? The slash, the star, and the moon. It's on these two. It's on all three pair. The slash, the star, and the moon. One thing that I don't know if everybody knows is that this pack was actually going to be called, instead of the mellow, the heavy, and the far out, it was actually going to be called the Fridays, the Saturdays for the heavy, and the Sundays. Okay, because it was a three-day, it was a Friday, Saturday, Sunday concert. And what these symbols are, this is actually the ticket. The tickets for Woodstock had the slash for Friday, the star for Saturday, and the moon for Sunday. So that's why these symbols are on the toe box right here. It's represented. Now, they went back and changed it, of course, and called these the mellows, the heavies, and the far outs. But initially, like I said, these were gonna be the Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, and that's why this is on the toe box right here. So just a little bit of history that I dug up on the shoe before I did the review. Now, what do I love about this shoe? I love this entire upper. I like the heavies. The heavies would be in second place. The far outs are probably my least favorite. Like, I couldn't get away with wearing those guys. That's just too far out for me to wear. But the, uh, the heavies were a little bit too much too. I don't, I didn't really care for the camo around this. I like this uh, like uh, green, what do they call it, oil green. I like this color right here. It's plain on a very uh, crazy silhouette, right? But you've got your denim. I've already talked about what the symbols mean. You've got your faux uh, bovine fur right here because it did take place in a pasture, in a farm, Woodstock did. You've got your denim because everybody wore, wore denim back then. Of course, your bandanas was worn, you know, your paisley bandanas. You're fraying, the jeans were frayed. Everything was frayed out back then. The military, you know, they're like, like we said, that, that we was in the middle of a war. So everybody was against the war, Vietnam and all of that. So this is where you get this from. That's also where you get the camo from on the, on the heavies because everybody in the 60s and 70s, they were against the war, right? Uh, now, again, the upper, you've got this beautiful denim. I like this washed out denim better than I like this, you know, darker blue one color denim. I like this better. And uh, the tongue, man, the tongue is my favorite. Uh, this tongue right here is in this burgundy crushed velvet, okay? 
This tongue right here is in that pink velvet, which I like this pink velvet too. It gives me them strange love vibes, right? But let's go ahead and take this one down, put this one beside it, and let's do a comparison on the swooshes. So you're, this swoosh here, you've got this type of embroidery on it. Here, you've got this. So very similar in nature, just different colors, right? And then it does come with two spare sets of laces. You've got your velvet laces here and your white laces there. I think I'm gonna, I think I may leave, leave the, the these laces that come with it uh, in there. But yeah, you've got that flower swoosh on this side. And then on this side right here, you've got this embroidered swoosh. Very nice touch. Right here, you do have some corduroy and purple around your lace eyelets at the top right here. And then on the back, again, no two pair of these shoes are the same, okay? They're all different. So anytime you get a pair of these, you're gonna have a one of one shoe. Uh, so this is the back of this one. You've got this, uh, you know, navy uh, print right here, uh, paisley bandana print. And again, this right here, it's very cool looking. It says concepts in case y'all can't see that. I'm sure you can, but it says concepts on it. It looks very native, native American to me, you know? Uh, but I like, I dig it. I dig it. I think it looks really, really cool on the shoe. And then, you know, let's take a look at these and the backs of these guys here, which these come with spare laces too. So there's your difference right there. Okay. On the two shoes. All right. So let's go ahead and wrap this review up again. Y'all let me know what y'all think about these. What's y'all's favorite pair? I know you, like I said, if y'all have seen the heavies, do you like the heavies? Do you like the mellows? Do you like the far outs? What's your favorite pair? And I haven't talked about the inside yet. The inside, you do have this burgundy insole inside as well. Uh, it, it is kind of a ribbed insole, or not insole, sorry, sock liner. And then your insole, you've got these nice graphics. Get this stock X tag out of the way. You've got these nice graphics on the insole right here. Okay, so very, very cool. You've got your Concepts logo there. You do have a Nike guitar pick. This one right here. It's just in a like, kind of a cream color, whereas in this one, and I like this guitar pick better. Um, if I wasn't selling it, I'd actually swap them out. But this one right here, you've got this, uh, you know, marble colored uh, guitar pick. So anyway, that's it, guys. That's the review on the Mellows. I'm very stoked to have these. These will be going on feet. Like I said, that's why I got me an 11 and a half in these. So with that being said, it's Jamin. I appreciate you guys for watching Soul Searching. And uh, until next video, y'all stay safe. And uh, hey. Peace, love, and happiness, baby. See ya.